Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to their episode on the Amplified World. How are you guys doing today? You know, I'm doing really good. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. I'm having a really great day. I'm glad you guys are here because I just got back from a very, very long adventure. Yes, I have been adventuring and mining and uh, gathering resources. Gathering. English isn't word working today, but I have been gathering tons of resources for today's episode because I have quite a few things I need to get done today. Because last episode, we built this. We built this amazing thing. It's a road, stair, thing, cares. Yes, we, we built this and it goes down to our new mining area. Now, unfortunately, our new mining area is currently unaccessible because of the fact that there's a gigantic drop. Now, I am going to be trying to fix that today. Off screen, I went and grabbed a ton of sand. I went and mined for a good five hours, grabbed a ton of resources, and now we should have plenty of stuff for our project. See, ton of sand. Have not smelted it down yet. We're gonna have to build a smeltery. I don't think it's gonna be very big. Um, we also, I also grabbed Nope, over here. I've got a ton of iron now. I don't know if this is going to be enough. I don't want to go mining again, but I did get a, some diamonds as well, some lapis, some other stuff. Nothing too spectacular there. I do have some coal left over, so I will be able to do that. But the first thing we need to do, do I have any furnace, furnace? Yes, I have some furnace. So I need to fix the whole furnace situation. There we go, splitting all of my coal up and equally. Now, temporary furnace situation is very temporary, so don't worry, this will not be staying here for very long. I am gonna be making an actual smeltery. Now, I don't know what design I'm gonna go with. I built several designs in the past, and I've done one with mine cards. I've done one with just chests and hoppers. It all just depends on what I decide to go with later. I'll decide that later, so let's grab all of our iron. This, I don't want to waste coal on. I will grab, let's see, I've got 10 of them, so let's see, that's three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Now let's go and get all this smelted up. This is gonna take quite a bit of time. Let's go one, bam, a boom, a da boom, a boom, a boom, a bam, bam, boom, and a boom. Sweet. Now this, oh, this is one of the things I don't like about Minecraft. Things just take too long. So while that's going, I made the decision before we started record. Well, before I started recording, I haven't done nothing. <laughs> I made the decision before I started recording that I am going to go ahead and make my armor. So, and the reason why I'm just doing this early, I mean, technically we're on episode 11, so the series has been going on for a little while. I, I, you know, I need to start getting some good armor online because I really would like to go into the end, and I would, well, not, well, I would like to go to the end pretty soon, but I really would like to go into the nether as well and actually be able to, I want to be able to stay in there for longer than like five or ten seconds before I die. So let's go ahead and grab this stuff. Now, I also, I've got my tools. My tools are fine. Now, trying to get the enchantments that I want of them are pretty, Probably gonna be a little bit more difficult than I think it's going to be. Let's grab some lapis and let's just go ahead and portion this up as well. I usually go for protection. Now I, you know, I have I have specific rules whenever I go to enchant something. I don't want to try to get. I don't want to get a crappy enchantment like blast protection. I don't want that. Now there's nothing wrong with blast protection. I like it on like. You know, if I ever just decide to run into a creeper nest and then get blown up to bits, I wouldn't do that. But, you know, if I ever decide to do that one of these days, it would be nice to have blast protection. But I don't want blast protection unless I have to have it. So let's see. Let's me grab a couple more things before we go down there and start enchanting. I personally like protection. I've got tons of books. Technically, to be honest with you guys, I could just use all of these books and didn't do it that way. But you guys know how my philosophy is. I like to get the enchantments on there first and then try to go about uh, putting books on them. Of course, that could in turn be a bad thing, as you guys pointed out in the comment section, if I ever get something on the in on the actual armor that I don't want, there's no way for me to get it off. You guys are smarter than I am, I understand that, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm a stickler, I'm a stickler. So what I do is I grab my armor, and of course I have all of these uh, bit random bits and bobs that I'm not going to be enchanting like high levels, I'm just gonna be using them for cycling. Let's see, I've got Aqua Infinity, I've got fire protection three, unbreaking, and then unbreaking. I'm gonna do the unbreaking. Fire protection three, that is completely fine with me. And the reason for that, the way that I usually do this, I usually have three pieces of armor with regular protection, which would be protection four. And then I'd have one separate one with fire protection four. And the reason I do that is because I am a klutz and it's, it's inevitable. Sooner or later, I am going to fall into lava. It's going to happen. So I always like to have it just in case it happens. So let's see, 
Protection three, do I want to take a chance on that? I will. Protection three, that's fine. I can make that a lot better with all of my books. Let's see, protection three, and you are also, you're unbreaking. I'm going to cycle this one because I don't like those. Let's see if I can get a protection four. Yes, yeah, sweet. Now I don't have to work with that one very much. Fire protection four, I'm going to cycle that. No, I did not mean to take three levels off. That was my fault. Fire protection, don't want that as well. I only want one fire protection. Death Strider, I don't really need it. Because uh, I have a Death Strider book. I would like to see protection is what I'm looking for. I want protection four. That way I know that'll work. Feather Falling 4, Protection 3. There we go. So our armor is now kind of put together. I'm going to have to do a lot of tinkering around with it. That, all I really need on it is another Fire Protection 3. And then, of course, if I can get Mending, I have those Mending books. I don't want to use them yet. I want to use those on my tools. You, of course, need a lot of work. You need Protection 3 and all the Aqua Infinity and Respiration stuff. You and my friend are going to get Protection 4, Unbreaking, and, of course, that one's going to need Unbreaking, too. But I'm going to try... I'm a little scared about it, but I'm gonna try putting Frostwalker on those, on my actual boots. Now, I don't exactly know how that's going to work out with all of our water stuff. I hope it doesn't break anything. We'll have to wait and see what happens with that. So let me grab some books, and then of course I still have to wait for this. All right, so I think I got everything that I'm gonna be needing to get these this armor all done and dusted. Now. It's a lot more books than I would like to use, even though we have three chestfuls. It's just, it's gonna take a lot of levels and I don't think 56 is gonna be enough. So I had a Respiration 3, I had an Aqua Infinity book. Now I couldn't just find an Aqua Infinity that didn't have the other two on them. But, I mean, I have other books that, that could replace that power four and sharpness, so I'm not really worried about that. And then I had a protection three book. Now, when I'm done, this is gonna have protection four, it's gonna have respiration, and then aqua infinity. I think that's all I need, I think. No, I need a breaking too. I need to grab an unbreaking book for that. Okay, I, I forgot about the unbreaking part. All right, so, and then this one will have protection three and feather falling. Now, I did have a frost walker and protection three, so that's gonna make it protection four and frost walker. Then I had unbreaking to add on to that as well and then I last but not least I have Death Strider to put on there and of course I don't need the smite I already have a smite book and then those two all go together now for these last two it's pretty easy I had I have fire protection to make that fire protection for and I'm breaking and then this last one just putting a breaking on it will make that one perfect now I'm gonna be doing these ones first because these are gonna be the easiest ones now what do I want to name these guys I want to give them funny names this season I don't know what I'm gonna do it though I'm gonna call my chest plate soulmate because it was just the first thing that came to mind. I thought it sounded pretty cool. So let's go bam. All he needs now is mending. So we'll do this one and this one. And then I guess I can call this one pajamas. I'm gonna call him pajamas. Now, if you guys don't know me, whenever I'm around the house and I don't have anything to do outside the house, like I don't need to leave to go do anything, I'm always wearing pajama pants. That's just me. They're really comfortable. They're great. So I'm gonna be calling them pajamas. Now with these last two, I prefer doing it the book way and then adding the, well, I prefer like putting them on the book first and then putting them on the actual armor themselves. And the reason I do that is because it used to, I don't know if it still does it this way. It used to lessen the amount of repair cost because if you kept adding the books onto the, the armor itself, it then racked up the repair cost for it. That's the way it used to be in 1.8. Well, 1.9. Well, beginning of 1.8 and then 1.9. I don't know if they changed it, so I'm just gonna keep doing it the way that I used to do it. Now, I'm gonna be calling these guys Crocs. Yes, I'm gonna be naming them Crocs. Now, again, this is another thing that you guys just have to know about me. When it, If I, I like wearing Crocs. I look stupid in them. I wear them everywhere, but I love wearing them because they're really comfortable and it's just how I am. But this, these guys are gonna have protection four, a feather falling four, frost walker two, and I'm breaking three. Oh, I don't have death strider on them. Where'd the death strider go? Wait, can you not have, de oh, you can't have death strider and frost walker. I forgot about that. Okay, well, technically I don't need death strider if I have frost walker. I just wasted a death strider book because I wasn't paying any attention, but okay, there we go. So bam, and then last but not least my helmet. I, I'm not gonna have enough levels, am I? Oh, no, my anvil broke too. Dang it. Well, <laughs> I'm not gonna have enough levels. I only have six levels, that, and there, there's definitely, this is gonna take more. I can't believe I just wasted a, a Death Strider book, but I'd rather have Frostwalker. I don't know how it works. I'm hoping, please, I'm hoping it doesn't break anything. If it does, then I'm gonna have to make new boots. But let me go make a new anvil, and I've got to figure out what I'm gonna do for levels. I might just go into the nether. I need, no, well, hopefully this gives me, how much XP this is gonna give me? Let's see. Let's see, we've got eight, 
We're still on eight. That's the 10, 11, 12, still at 12, still at 12, still at 12, 13. All right, so we're at level 13. I don't know if this is going to be enough. I need to make an anvil. I'm hoping that it will be. Let's see. Boom, and then let's do two more. Boom, boom. I forget how easily it is to break anvils. I guess when you're doing all that repairing stuff. What the heck was that? Iron nuggets? When have you been able to do that? Maybe you have been able to do that for a while. What are they used for? I have no idea. That's a thing. Never knew that you could make iron nuggets. I thought that was only modded. Maybe maybe they added that a long time ago and I never noticed. Huh. Let me know in the comment section if that's been a thing for how long. Let's see. Bam and bam. 15. Dang it. I need two levels. And 30 or so minutes later, we are now level 31. And I bet you guys are wondering why. Well, I thought we just had to get to level 13. Nope. Because I added unbreaking to the stupid book. It made me go, you were just level 30. What? It was level 30 like five minutes ago. <sighs> I don't like you. I don't like you at all. You were level 30 when I last looked at it. Dang it. Oh, well, well we got extra levels now. So let's go ahead and do this last one, which I will be naming. I already have a name for it. I'm going to be referencing it from last season, but I like it. So we're going to go. Bam, Scott Sterling. He has a protection four, respiration three, aqua infinity, and unbreaking three. Bam, got Scott Sterling. And now we're done with the armor and we can actually get started with our new project. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. Boom, 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 and boom. We look great and new and blue. Now let's hope this doesn't break our water, please. Yay, it doesn't break the water. <laughs> I was really afraid that it was going to break the water. I really want to try out this whole uh, Frostwalker thing. I got to figure out how this thing works. Okay, we have a puddle of water over here. I want to see if this actually, how this works. Okay. <laughs> this is cool. This is really cool. Now, how does it go? Does it go away? Do you go away? Yes, you do go away, but you break. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right. That's interesting. I could actually work that into a build somehow. Okay, we'll have to work around with that later. Okay, so don't ask me why, but I had an extremely bad idea that I wanted to test out and see if this works. So I'm getting tired of running back and forth, back through the mines to get down there for do, to do the, uh, the little quick drop area. Now, I did originally try to do water streams, but every, once, but every time I do, Frostwalker destroys my water source. So I guess I could, in theory, take the boots off and do it that way, but that's the easy way. And I want to see if this works. <laughs> I remember they buffed Feather Falling with protection, so I want to see if I can live this. <laughs> so if I eat an apple, it gives me two more uh, hearts worth of absorption and I want to see if this works all right butt clinch clinch your butts guys here we go comment section do I live it I survived <laughs> I can't believe I just survived that that's insane I would have survived without the absorption I had like two and a half hearts no three and a half hearts that's ridiculous that's like 90 blocks that's stupid <laughs> Oh, that was awesome. I want to do that again. <laughs> I really want to do that again. <laughs> I'm not going to eat the apple this time. I'm going to do it again. Let's do it. We're going to survive it. Let's do it. Ah! Please don't kill me. I survived it. <laughs> Why is that a thing? <laughs> That's 90 blocks. That's insane. <laughs> I don't even need the quick drop. I can survive the fall. All right, so I was originally just going to go ahead and make this thing and then kind of show you guys the aftermath of what I made. But then I realized, probably not the best idea because not everybody knows how to make these minecart elevators. They're extremely simple to make, but at the same time, yeah. Why not show you guys? Why not show you guys how to do it? Some of you who have lo watched last season, you've already seen me make these things, but a lot of you are new. So let's go ahead and fall down to the very bottom because I like doing this. Wow! <laughs> Sooner or later, this thing's going to kill me. It, it, luckily for me, whenever I make this uh, actually finished, I won't have to worry about the fall damage, but that is a lot of fun. If it wasn't for I don't like wasting food, I would totally keep it that way. But if you're going to be making this at home, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need a lot of glass. 
You're gonna need and other you're gonna also need some random blocks You're going to need some rail and some powered rail and some switches actually these are levers But I call them switches and if you want to redstone lamps You don't need the redstone lamps, but I usually keep them just so that well They serve two different purposes and you'll see them like you'll see what they are just in just a minute But what you're gonna do is you're gonna need a three by three of glass all the way from the bottom of where you're going to be starting at to the top of wherever you're gonna be ending at Whatever whatever distance that is it could be any distance there really does not need to be a set amount of distance This really works for just about everything except maybe like 10 blocks or so if you're gonna be going like only like 10 blocks up You could use this, but it's kind of Not worth it. Yeah, you kind of get what I'm saying there But if it's a long distance or if, it's, if no matter what it is, you'll be fine So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna have the middle section of it of course hollow This is where you're going to be falling and the reason why you're having it glass and not any other block is because it won't flicker when you're going up and that usually has a problem with a lot of solid blocks and you'll see that whenever we demonstrate it later but make sure it's glass not only is it better but y y you'll see what I'm talking about in a little bit so what you're gonna want to do is when you're at the bottom you're gonna always start from the bottom and then go up now the reason for that is it'll there it'll be a lot easier whenever we finish it to actually make this thing work Especially in the automated section. So just start from the bottom and then go up It's a lot easier if you start from the bottom and go up now The first thing I want to do is you're going to find which side you're gonna be starting on now I'm gonna be doing the left you can do the right you could be doing this way It doesn't really matter for me I usually do the left the left of whatever the exit point is because my exit point is gonna be this way So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it to this side even though that's technically the right but it's it's, it's my left now what you're gonna do is you're gonna start one block in front of the glass like right here now and then you're gonna want to break that block this is of course the the this point at which you're going to be following the platform that you're gonna be on so from there take out the first block take out this block this block and this block these three blocks here and then I usually kind of I just kind of inset them with whatever block I'm going to be using in this instance I'm going to be using diorite so I'm going to be using diorite blocks and then I and on the block in front of the glass I have a block up now this block is going to allow me to put a pressure plate here and then be able to stand on that pressure plate and then having the automated section which we're going to be doing next episode I don't think we're gonna have time for this episode this episode is going to be really long and a lot of editing if you by the way if I'm gonna to try to I'm gonna be trying to do this as detailed as I can but I'm gonna be skimmed through a lot of it so if you guys want me to do a more detailed video let me know in the comment section I will do that it's this thing's super simple and it, it'd probably just be like a five minute video but um, you'll have one block three blocks on the edge of the glass you'll see it just like so and then you'll go up by one and then this will be the start of the what you're actually going to be doing so this block and then what you're going to want to do is on this level place another block these two are going to be the same level and then in the middle block usually you can have it you can have this just be a regular block but at the same time i use redstone lamps because i'm gonna have a switch here with a powered rail on top so i just have the redstone lamp here for aesthetics and also it kind of lights up the area that way it serves two different purposes but if you want it to just be a regular block you can just have it a regular block but yeah that's a thing so what you're going to do one level same level middle being up by one and then having this one also up by one just like so just like so in a staircase now this is where it gets kind of complicated it gets a little bit difficult to do this but what i do is when you're on this edge block i look around the corner and then place this block here and then place this block so the reason why i do this because there's no way that i can place this block here without actually placing like a temporary block just like so and then going up now to avoid doing this constantly I just look around the corner and then place that block first because what you're gonna do is you're gonna have this middle block go up by one for here and then go up by one for here but then this block is gonna be the same on this level just like it was down there and the reason for that is, is because there's going to be a track here that turns so that you can go around the corner now you're gonna be repeating this process from this block going up by one for this and then going up by one for the next one and then again looking around the corner going up and just doing this just like so and then continue doing this all the way up so just like that you kind of look around the corner put a block up by one and then placing one beside it and then of course redstone lamp block and then do it again just like so and then redstone lamp block on this block looking around the corner up by one looking and placing this block here of course that is up by one and then placing that there just like so one more time boom boom 
and boom, boom, just one more time for those of you who want to see it. Boom, boom, and then you got to do that all the way up. Boom. Okay. So now that we're all the way at the top, this is where it gets kind of complicated with the redstone because whenever I do make this automated, there's going to be a cactus here that then catches the minecart that, well, when it hits the cactus, the minecart itself will then turn back into an entity and then you'll be automatically hopped out. Then what will happen is your character will be moved to the block beside it. Each side will be fine because this will of course be just like so, there's no chance of me falling. But then underneath of that, that block that I come out on, there will be a hopper and then that hopper will then catch the minecart and then send it into a system that will then spit it back into this little hole right here all the way down to be caught by another hopper that will then stick it into our system down there. Of course, that'll all be done next episode. Now, after that, we need to go ahead and then do the rails themselves. <laughs> That's going to kill me sooner or later. Okay, so the way that the rails work is you're gonna have powered rail, powered rail, 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 all the way up to the top. Now the reason that this is in this configuration is very simple. You're gonna need powered rail at the beginning to get you started, and then you're gonna have regular rail to turn, because powered rail does not turn. And then you'll have powered rail to keep yourself going, and then again, you're gonna have regular rail to turn you, and then powered rail, powered rail, and powered rail, powered rail, regular rail, regular rail, powered rail, powered rail. Now you could, in theory, have this be powered rail, now that itself would be fine. It would probably make you go faster, but you really don't need it. To be honest with you, I've tested it before. It There isn't that big of a difference. So if you wanna make it three powered rail in a row, you can go ahead and do that. Cause I think the redstone signal will work for that, right? Hold on. Let me check before I say yes or no. Boom. This one's lit, this one's lit. Are you going to be lit? Yeah, technically you could have three powered rail in a row and you'd be fine, but Again, there's if you want to do that, you can. I don't do that because I don't think you really need to. Now that that is done, all we got to do is make sure this thing works. Now, I thought of something after I got this done. I hopefully it doesn't kind of ruin this whole thing. Well, at least the quick drop part. I hope that my boots don't ruin the quick drop because there's going to be water here. And no, I don't want you to be SE. We are not an iPhone. Boom. Now, I don't know if my boots are going to turn that into ice as soon as I get close to it. So we're just going to have to wait and see what happens with that one. So let's go ahead and grab our minecart and stick her down there. Jump on in there and grab our switch and put it there. Boom. Now, here we go. And it works. It works perfectly. Sweet. Now, again, I could put that extra piece of powered rail on there, but I really don't think we need to. I might do it just to, just to you know, giggle myself, because I think I haven't. I have enough. Yeah, I have plenty. So if I wanted to, I could do that to make it a little bit faster, but yeah, works just fine. Now, does the quick drop work? All right, don't kill me. It killed me. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Was it because it didn't slow me down enough? Or was it because... Hmm, I, I smell some debauchery. Wait a minute, does it because it didn't slow me down enough? Because if that's the case, I guess I could put another water source block. That's not a big deal. Oh wait, I don't have feather falling, so this is gonna kill me. <laughs> oh, that wasn't very smart. I guess I could go ahead and ride the rail back down. That's not a big deal. So let's go ahead and do that. But I guess if I needed to, I can go ahead and put another uh, source block and then Fix it, I guess. Now to fix this, let me try this. Because if I have it to, if I have it running, that's like there's two source blocks without there actually being two source blocks. And unfortunately my minecart went all the way back to the top. So I'm gonna have to walk it. But hopefully this works. All right, quick drop, take two, bam. Now don't kill me this time, please. There we go. Perfect. Now it works perfectly. Now all we need to do is make it automated, and of course I'll be doing that next episode. But yeah, don't forget, guys. Me, <laughs> I jumped straight into the outro today. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, guys. I had a lot of fun today, and don't forget, guys, if you hated this video, 
You know where to put it, but if you didn't enjoy it too, not forget to hit the like button. Guys, I hope you guys learned something with this uh, minecart elevator. I like making these. Now, of course, there are a whole bunch of other ones that I could make, like slime block elevators. There's uh, piston elevators. There's all these other elevators that you can do, but this is just the simplest and the easiest one, in my opinion. There's not a lot of redstone. There's basically no redstone in this thing. All you got to do is have minecart rails and switches. That's it. <laughs> but again, if you guys want me to do a better, a, a more in-depth, detailed video over this, uh, let me know in the comment section. Of course, I will do that for you guys. It's not, it won't take me that long. But yeah, uh, don't forget to post any questions, comments, and smart marks comment section to down there. I do love hearing from you guys. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Nope, I'll have a great and wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next video. There went that torch. Sorry, buddy.